Hello, I am Trey. I've got my iPad busted out here. I'm going to show you how I use 100 cameras in one to make some cool creations. So I've got some neat tricks and tips here that'll help you in your own quest to make your own creations. All right, so we got a photo here. Let's um, let's try a few different things. Let's pull up a new one. Um, I'll go into my library here, and we'll pull up a photo of the Taj Mahal. And uh, here's the original. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add several layers to make this look sort of like an old aged photo. So here's a, a black and white version. And you'll notice on the black and white version, if you move the Yang slider, it starts to bring a little bit more color back into it in this case because the blend mode is normal. Let's just go back to black and white. Increasing the yin sort of gives it this uh, more exposed old look. Don't forget you can move up the drawer to get access to even more sliders. You can increase the contrast here. Uh, that's kind of cool. You can increase the vignetting, which is instant and quite quick. And then let's say you make a bunch of changes, mess it up. If you can always click um, uh, this reset button and it will bring everything back to normal. Okay, so let's drop this down. And then we're going to click this add effect button. And that's gonna create 100 new effects based on this new black and white version. So we have all kinds of new different looks now. Um, let's go ahead and pick this one because it's sort of a nice uh, aged look with some natural vignetting. We'll add the effect. Now we have a hundred new versions based on that one. Uh, here's one with some nice old texture around the side. Let's decrease the effect of the texture by decreasing the yin. I like that lower left hand corner. And let's add the effect. And this makes yet another layer. Um, and now it's starting to look quite old and quite distressed. Um, let's go back to this kind of uh, reddish one, decrease the reddish one and give it uh, a little bit of a, a nice tinge. And then we're, uh, we're done. I think this one's kind of cool. You can click up here, of course, to save it to your library, email it to friends, all that sort of stuff. Um, and not that this one is better or worse than the original, it's just different. And I think it's kind of cool to have multiple versions of photos uh, to suit various moods you might have. So let's jump in here and find a different kind of photo. Uh, maybe you've had this situation where you have sort of a, a plain blue sky. There's, there's the regular one. You want to do something to make it look more interesting. So let's, let's add a little bit of texture and contrast and bring in some, some clouds or something like this. So let's go through. You know, some textures work great, some don't. It depends on if it's a landscape or a portrait or a, an object image. Um, this one's kind of cool, a, a bold thing to say so early in the morning. And this brought in sort of a, a cloud texture. It has also changed um, some, of the, some of the contrast layer. Um, we can change the blend mode here, play around with it. We'll go back to Dodge. I think Dodge works well here. Um, and then what you see here is that we have a little bit of a nice almost cloud layer. Okay, so we're gonna click Save. We'll save this version, because I like it, but maybe we'll try to improve on it a little bit more. Sometimes I do saves halfway through the process. It just goes right on up to, um, to my library. So let's add this as an effect and come through and let's go find the, uh, the black and white one um, because I think this will look neat. Yeah, here we go. And so these look like wispy clouds up in the sky now, don't they? Uh, that's kind of nice. Um, now, if you notice, we, if we increase the Yang slider here, it'll bring a little bit of um, color back in. Uh, maybe that's too much color. Let's dial it down there. Sort of a soft hint of color. So now we have some nice contrast. Uh, a nice black hill in front and soft blues and wispy clouds. And it's nice. So let's, um, let's save that one away and we'll go work on another photo. Let's go up here to the library. Uh, let's pull up an image that's sort of in the, the tall mode, you know, portrait mode. Um, so some people don't realize this, but you can actually flip up the iPad, flip it up on its side, and uh, you can edit it like that. Um, and it makes it much easier, much more full screen. Uh, so here's some cool effects. Uh, these are pictures of my three kids, or they're cute. Um, let's pick this one. This makes them just red. This only has the reds and takes out all the other colors. Here's one that's kind of glowy, um, kind of interesting. Let me see if I can get this effect I'm looking for. No, not, uh, not quite. Uh, so let's look at some different things here. Here's one that's kind of uh, blown out. Um, has a lot of white in it, kind of interesting. Uh, remember, a picture doesn't have to be perfect. It can be interesting. It can be a little bit uh, off. 
here's one like the blue one or like the red one but it's all blue instead um, so here's one where everything's up a little bit brighter and let's change the blend mode to overlay and then increase this yang and you'll see it adds a certain amount of punch to the photo let's bring in a little bit of vignetting around the edges to bring the focus on them and click glow and you see now it's kind of cool they're just like they're sitting in a magical forest together it's got kind of a, a nice feeling to it and don't forget to rate us a good rating will help the mojo and we'll uh, be able to keep doing cool updates and stuff like this